Red Army fights on with a gallantry that not only excites the admiration of its allies, but must be causing grave doubts about final victory in the minds of the German people. Already the terrific clash of arms along this huge front continues into a third month with appalling ferocity. Although the Nazis have advanced a long way, at no point has Soviet resistance been broken. In the vast territories of the Union, there is room for orderly withdrawal. In these latest pictures to reach this country from the Russian front, there is plenty of evidence that the Red Army, still intact, is courageously stemming the tide of Nazi aggression. By counterattack and by the best use of her enormous manpower, the Soviet puts paid to the early boast of the Nazis that the campaign would take a mere matter of weeks. German tanks and vehicles lying smashed and abandoned all along the battlefront testify to the success of Soviet strategy and tactics. Nazi prisoners are even better proof. True defense in depth has accounted for this collection. Many of them thought the campaign would be over by now. Well, so far as they're concerned, it is. Interrogation of this Nazi revealed that he'd been guilty of a bit of looting, pinching soap among other articles. It'd take more than soap to get his hands clean. And here are documents found at the headquarters of the 32nd German Division. Plans of action and field service manuals came in very useful to the Soviet general staff. There was German money for what that's worth and a portable radio. Not only the Red Army, but the whole vast Russian population fights and works for the cause of freedom. As one example, they've gathered in the harvest in record time. Here in the Ukraine lie some of the richest of the Soviets' 450 million cultivated acres. If Hitler thought that in addition to smashing the Red Army, he'd be able to replenish his larder from these great cornfields, he was wrong, both times. Where the Nazi hordes have advanced, it has been over a desert of scorched earth. For the rest, the people harvesting the crops see to it that not an ear, not a grain is wasted. Then, in the construction of defense works, the willing hands of civilians play a big part. Red Air Force has done wonder, and it's still going strong in spite of numerous radio annihilations. Incessantly it harries enemy formations with bomb, cannon, and machine gun. and anti-aircraft batteries have taken heavy toll of Nazi planes by day as well as by night.
heavy fighting continues all along the front. So say the communiques. We can trust our great ally under Stalin's leadership to carry on till freedom is won. The tide of battle ebbs and flows. Today's Nazi success may lead to Nazi defeat tomorrow. The Soviet fights on.